How are all you beautiful people doing today? This is Joe the Platformer here bringing you part two of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And just wow! <laughs> what a start to part one. That was awesome. Uh, I mean, I don't... It's hard to even recap it. There was so much going on. But basically, Cal got outed as a Jedi, though he is pretty inexperienced. And the second sister and the Inquisitors were trying to find him. And it got really bad really fast. And he was absolutely outmatched by the second sister. But I love her, even if I hate her. So anyway, we got rescued by these people. I just noticed what that is. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out where they are. I don't know if I had to go down that ladder. Oh, he kind of got a nice little dining area. Oh, there, there it is. All right. Breeze? Not now. I got work to do. Oh, well. Damn it. <laughs> I must be stupid. I cannot... Oh, God. That's right there. Play some beautiful Muzak. What did you do? Use the force to learn it? What was that? That song. I wrote it. Years ago touch an object and witness events connected to it you feel its history it's an echo in the force from the object not many jedi have that skill cool how would you know that i was once a jedi but not anymore do i know you no but i knew your master general DePaul. he was a true guardian of the republic he was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but... My connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Anymore. We're coming up on our destination. This connection to the force might be damaged because of PTSD. Like, God, I can only imagine what happened to the Je or any any of the Jedi that like really survived it hard. Um, that were in the middle of it though. Like, I mean, Yoda was in the middle of it too. Um, but he's always been very in control of his emotion. He's one of those Jedi, as we all know. Um, and even he was heartbroken. I mean, he felt that a, he felt the disturbance. Jedi. Hard. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. Since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. Yep, good point. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. Okay. May the Force be with you. Always. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, I mean, and look at the, He was a Padawan. He wasn't even a full-on Jedi Knight. He doesn't have the uh, <laughs> the emotional training that the Jedi's do that kind of keep them in that very specific mindset. I can only I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? I can only imagine how he felt. He I mean, he he must have been like I don't know how old he is, but he only looks like he's in his early twenties. He might be younger than me. I'm twenty five. Um, but I can't imagine what going through all that was and surviving. What? Okay, so we got a skill point? 
Okay, whatever. I have no idea how to use the skill point. We'll figure it out eventually. Um, I don't know where we're going. Oh, God. What's this? This looks like a safe place to meditate. Ew. I need to focus my mind. That's probably how. That is definitely the wrong button. <laughs> safe points are located through Cal's journey. Okay, so it's a safe point. And skill points, like I thought. Okay. Right, skill tree. Oh, it's gonna make me do the. How dare you! Oh, I gotta hold it? That's right. Oh, Jesus! Oh, if only it cut that stormtrooper in half. It actually looks like it breaks guard, though. Alright, well, that's the only skill point we have. I'll look at these on my own time. Oh, hello. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just <laughs> I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? I really doubt it's a Jedi that I know, because I'm not too big in the extended just universe. Like Thanks. Nice. Well, God, he jumped to... What I was going to say is I do love the uh, EU, and well, I don't really care what Disney says. Classic EU was always good. But, um, uh, more than anything, it's just like one of those... It's just been a bit since I've had a chance to really dig into Star Wars, so my memory is really bad. Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Uh, Okay. It's all the way over there. Always be seen on BD1's hollow map. That's kind of sick, actually. I dig that. There we go. They definitely wanted me to make sure I knew how to use that. And that's all good. What is that? Okay, so triangle is the overhead. Uh, for sure. Alright, I guess we gotta go this way first. Wee. That's right, you don't want to mess with me, you fish. I sense something over here. Frame rate's definitely chugging a little bit here and there, but. That's a really big bug. Ah! Oh god. I want to get it with that overhead. Come on. Alright. Oh, that takes force energy? Okay, I gotta be more. Careful with that. Ah! Oh, oh my god. My brain went straight to, like, other video games for some reason. It was after boggling eggs and the pack fought back. No way they were here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Alright, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Okay, then which, where, do, where am I going, little robot buddy? I don't think I can make that. Oh, there, okay, I see now. I'm just blind, don't worry about me. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap. Oh, the frame rate, it, come on, man. It's, it's, it's not great. Oh, Zipline? I'm wondering if, like, I just, the game's just bugging out on me a little bit because of when I booted it, I, I don't know, because I'm on a PS4 Pro. And I even have performance mode on. I don't know if the frame rate's just inconsistent. How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> Wait, you didn't? <laughs> I actually kind of really like Cal so far. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. All right, I definitely see something down there, but let's go. We're already up here, so. I would prefer to stick to the main objective, uh, but we'll see. It is. Dark and spoopy. I don't like this. It is cool to light, light it up with your lightsaber, though. Uh, hello. 
Oh, that really hurt. I might be dead. I might die. I died! Oh, so they literally put in, like, the Dark Souls kind of thing. When well, I gotta go kill this thing. That's right, I'm back, boy. Ah! Well, I died because I suck. That hit me for pretty far. Oh, I couldn't move! Okay, I can't parry it. I just suck. Oh, that really sucked. There we go. I gotta parry this boy. Literally, all I have to do is parry, right? And then I'm good. All I gotta do... I got him that time. I almost died again. Ogdo Bogdo, you asshole. Hi ah! <laughs> that sucks. Okay, I'm just being dumb and freaking out and stuff, man. All I had to do is parry. Where Bogling was killed. Was it trying to defend his family? Aw. But that were that actually is good. We can I cut this? Anyway, worked out that I came here because, oh, it just disappeared. But, uh, I ended up getting a part of a health upgrade. Hopefully I can, uh, get some health back soon. Because <laughs> I'm one shot away from dying. Maybe if I meditate, I get my health back. Okay, Cal, you need to hear me out here, man. I think we're just supposed to do that. What is this place? A death trap. It looks like. Please don't hit me. Okay. Four seconds. I use this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Okay, let's just turn them off. That'd be uh, very, very nice. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. I'd laugh so hard if I walked into it and got hurt. Okay, I think I see maybe, maybe how we do that. All right, I gotta meditate, see if it gives me health back. Enemies respawn, that's all they, that happens? I, I mean, dude, I haven't played a, a Soulsborne game in a bit now and I'm kind of like, my brain is not working with what they do and don't do. I know that that's what happens when you go to rest, per se, or at least in the place of Bloodborne, if you go to the Hunter's Dream, stuff respawns, if Careful I remember right. There. That doesn't look safe. Beep boop. like back at the scrapyard. <laughs> on, I'm coming. Ew, God, these things are scary looking. Oh, I was trying to deflect. What? There we go. Ugh, oh my god, its head is gone! <laughs> Skill point acquired. Oh, there's something over here. I see it. hi -ya! Dude, I'm super into this game, though. This, is a, this game is really fun. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? It looks like he kicked it in the face. Wait, I, 
can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. Aww. Sarah! Look at my droid buddy! He's a cute little precious baby! Well, this gomplink is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. So, I'm not gonna lie, I really like Cal so far. He's just endearing, you know? Okay. Huh? Try that. I don't... I'm an asshole. But, um... No, Cal's just a good dude, you know? It helps that he's definitely not a full-fledged Jedi. And full-fledged... Because you know how the Jedi can be. Yeah, that's where I was headed, too. Like, again... Okay. I'm not well, saying that they're super bad or anything, but place. negating all emotion is not good for your health, you know? There are very few people that can actually do that type of stuff, you know what I mean? Ooh, I can customize my lightsaber? <gasps> Sarah, yeah. I already have a green lightsaber. Oh, yeah. I'm not changing it ever again. What? Sarah! Mm -hmm. Look over here. Oh, wow. You can change this stuff, dude? <laughs> I kind of like his Jaro to Paul lightsaber. I, I, I think I'm going to stick with that part. I definitely like the Umbran campaign, whatever, for the sleeve. And I like this... I don't know. This... Can I rotate? Nice. I can rotate it. Uh, I don't know. I kind of just... Well, this looks... Actually, actually, yeah. You know what? Let's use this one, too. Well... Well, sure, why not? Sarah, are you looking? Oh, <laughs> makes me so happy. I did not know you could custom. I didn't even read the pre-order stuff, you know. For me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Dude, I love my but little work. my little droid. Yeah, this game is definitely kind of Dark Soulsy though. Like, I got my ass beat by a sub a random optional side side boss thing, until I was like, man, all I gotta do is block, you know. Like, it has unblockables, it's just that I was being a dum-dum, and I, like, refused to parry it. I kept trying to whap it. Or, I guess in the... What? Whap, 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 Or in the case of, you know, a lightsaber. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, I love my green lightsaber. Green's my favorite color, guys. Pretty much anybody that's been around the channel knows, but still. Was I supposed to do that? I mean, it's a cutscene. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, it's tutorialing me. Tutorial. Wow, this is literally so Dark Souls stuff. It's even like up on the D-pad and stuff, you know. Well, I don't think it's up on the D-pad. In those games. I don't remember. You know what I mean? It's it's a very That's limited a heal that you have, you know? Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. Uh. Do you see him? Okay. <laughs> Do you see my droid? Hop on board. He's precious. Or she? Whatever, I don't care. My droid BD1 uh, is precious. How'd you get here? <laughs> don't remember? Huh. I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. BD's hollow map at any time. Hey, hey, do you want to see how the map works? It's really cool. Sure. Well, I, I, give me a sec, because I'm like, it's like showing me where to go, you know? Yeah. Are you looking? Yep. So you uh, press it, and it's BD coming up on your shoulder. Oh, that's cool. This game was made by people that like Star Wars, you know what I mean? Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Oh my god, I love the way you loot chests in this game, Sarah. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Oh, the frame the frame rate can be a little fucky though, which I don't really I hate when that when I would rather the frame rate be consistent, you know? Well I will say it doesn't seem to do it during fighting, it just does it a lot in like the overworld for some reason. Okay, cool. I unlocked a shortcut. So, uh, the, it's cool that we're gonna have, like, multiple planets to go to, though. Yeah. I don't know explicitly how thorough that is. Oh, hello. Another one? 
I love Little Robot Buddy. Where... I gotta remember how to get back to that one spot I was earlier. Because there was what I can only assume was a chest. Oh god, I suck. Oh, I beat something up and my robot was like, woo-woo! Alright, I'm going to just jump down because I want to go try to get that chest. Can you slice this? Oh, okay, so... Yeah, sorry about your scoff link, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. BD1, over here. Okay, so to actually get in there, I need a certain upgrade for the for the robot. So that's why. Although, I will say, I, I know it's a video game, but come on. He's like, can you slice this to get in the chest? And I'm like, you have a lightsaber. All right, we're going to get this move. Oh, that looks sick. God, I could go all the way down there? Shit, dude. What the fuck is that? Dun -dun -dun -dun, line. You mapped everywhere we've been. Certain points will be inaccessible until Cal possesses right abilities. Switch elevation highlight different areas. Cool. Nice. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Oh! <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, Sarah. Can you look real quick? I forgot to... Um, tell you, but I just found a chest so I can show you the animation for opening them. The robot jumps in it and goes all crazy. Poncho material. I need a poncho. Isn't that right, Sarah? I need a poncho. Oh, God. Those things are ugly. I'll read that stuff on my own time. Due to the nature of this game i think i should not worry about that stuff um in the playthrough sorry if you guys wanted to hear any of it i've just i'm worried that it'll take up too much time um we should definitely meditate i made some progress hello this tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault we is it gonna give me the opportunity to do something cool? Oh, <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> what? Run for it! I suck so much. Come on, come at me! I fought a bigger version of you, boy. Come on, come at me. Come on, I believe. I believe. Gotta finish it with that parry. Let's go. Ooh. Scan him for me. Ogdo. Okay. Yeah, I fought a bigger one. I should not have... Uh, even gotten hit. My fault. Hey Dude, that ability is super cool. Takes force, though, so I gotta be careful. Oh, that's so sick, dude. <laughs> that guy scared me. I gotta be ready to lock on and stuff. Not yet, little buddy. I gotta explore a little bit. Okay, I think this is actually the way I have to go, so let me go ahead and meditate.
I don't like that sound. There's something big and pissed off down here. something in there? Oh, is this where I was supposed to go? <laughs> I learned how to wall run by watching animals crawl. Try again. Difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Wow, okay. So it's helping him remember what he's had. Okay. I get it. I dig it. More intensity. My position. Okay, sick. I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Man, I hear something super mad over here. <laughs> Alright, cool. Fish. Okay. I think this is how we get up to that one thing. No? I think I got a wall run and then... Okay, cool. Let's go. Nice! This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. I saw something over here. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. Really? They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Okay, so I guess it might be a gray, uh, gray Jedi? lightsaber switch acquired I don't know if I should be uh, jumping down here but we'll find out oh god that scared me I think I was supposed to go this way okay scanning again Good job. Oh, that's the thing I've been hearing is the big boy. Someone may camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. <laughs> Binog, they called it. Yeah, that must be the Binog. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on, man. <laughs> Dude almost kicked me off and killed me. Oh 
Okay. It's kind of cute, but I don't know if it's, an if it's an angry boy. What is it? Oh, I was supposed to go that way, kinda. Alright, sick. A little worried because I just saw a platform over there. Was there anything? Oh, yeah. Hang on. You guys won't see this part. I wasn't expecting to accidentally jump up here. Man, I. Is he there? Really into this game though. Oh, it's on. <laughs> well, he was definitely winning. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. <laughs> probably. Alright, that's another Medicaid spot. Huh? Offerings. Uh. Ooh, hieroglyphic stuff. Inscriptions. Find something? Anything else? BD? I'm gonna call him BD. I know it is BD, but I'm gonna call him BD because baby droid. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be like a, a door. Why not? The vault. Amazing. Scanning again? You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, holocron. containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. Always. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Huh. Oh, Cal, that is some murky water. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? Uh, 
Destination unlocked. Zeppo. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It looks like that's all there is to this temple. Oh, use the hollow table. I'm dumb. I thought it said hollow map. Oh, that's just stress inducing. I didn't notice. That was what he did last time. Uh, I think we'll go ahead I think and I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. We'll go ahead and get to the new planet probably. It's going to be a bit of a longer video, but there's definitely some stuff I'm going to edit out, and I. And I don't know. Oh my god! I don't know how much of it it actually is. Bring it on! Oh yeah! Ugh. Oh, I forgot they'd do that. Bring it on! Ah! One more, baby. Ooh. See ya. Alright. Definitely getting the hang of the game more, which is good. I want it to be entertaining both because we're having fun and also because I'm not dying. Um, it definitely takes some getting used to, but I dig it a lot. This is definitely some of the most fun I've had with any lightsaber fighting in a while. Huh? I haven't been paying attention. Do I get XP for this? Oh, wow, that gave me a lot, actually, for what the bar is. Oh my god! We'll go check that out in a second. It looks like I have to go that way. I think it's sealed. Okay, so there's some of that pretty cool level design that I very much like. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in particular down there. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Wait, really? Strange. I think I remember Drathom Such a Drath peaceful Drath culture Drath 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 to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. I can't remember. I'm gonna look it up. And uh, you know, Cordova also yeah. sounds kind of familiar. Dathomir. So I looked it up because again, my memory is a little foggy. But Dathomir is definitely something I know. That is where the Night Sisters are and where Darth Maul is from. I I did remember, but I couldn't I couldn't remember for sure. Like I said, my memory is just super rusty, unfortunately. I'm surprised we haven't had an actual boss fight. What is that thing? A weird giant cat? I beat Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Man, I'm I mean I'm super into this game, guys. Like this game is super sick. I'm surprised there hasn't... I love those weird little hoppy cat bunny things. Oh, that looks fun down there. I guess we gotta go down again. Is it gonna make me wall run immediately? Woo! Okay, alright, sick. Oh, that stuff does use your force energy, so you gotta be careful. So, those things are cute. <laughs> um, I'll stop to explore the planet on my own time, which I'm assuming I can go back and do. Huh? What? What's up, little buddy? Boggling tunnel. Alright, cool. Uh, but we gotta get back over here. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum meat fabric? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not you really. Found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. 
contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. Yeah, I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. But yeah, you know Cordova definitely sounds familiar. I I'm, I'm assuming, again, that's an extended universe name, and Who's my knowledge force? is very... It's just been... <sighs> locked deep in my brain. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. It's my boy, Obi-Wan. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, well I don't know. The Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. Dude, are we actually going to go to Dathomir? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. What happened? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Hell, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. Oh, God. Dathomir. Oh, I want to go so bad. But I gotta end the video. Um, man, we'll have to think about that one, though. Interact? Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. <laughs> but when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarred glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Okay. So anyway, uh, that is all the time I have for this episode. I will have to think hard on whether or not we go to Dathomir. I have a feeling Dathomir will be harder. I'm also terrified of the uh, Night Sisters, whatever. You know, I forget what they're called, or Night Witches. Um, I can't remember, but the females of the Darth Maul race. They are scary, dude. Um, so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I know this is a bit of a longer episode. At least it seems like it will be. But... If you, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to get notified if you haven't already, and to check out some links that will be popping up here in the end screen in just a moment, and I'll see you all next time on Jedi Fallen Order. Also, I appreciate it every time you guys do that stuff. It always means a lot every time, and it helps out a ton. Anyway, love you all, and I hope your dreams come true. Peace out, everyone. Ooh.